This is a 2001 Explorer Sports Trax with a 4 liter single overhead cam in it. The valve pan cover gaskets are leaking oil out of them. And I need to take the valve pan covers off of it. They're under there. First thing I want to do is drain the cooling system down to about halfway. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this beauty cover off and this air tube just to get it out of the way. This beauty cover has three 930 seconds screws in it. Unlatch the top of the air cleaner. Got a little bit of a hole in it now. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start with the driver's side. It won the coin toss. That is the reason why I'm here. That's getting fairly critical for the amount of oil on a manifold. That would be getting close to being on fire. something that needs done. I went ahead and marked the coil even though it's clearly marked on top of the coil which plug wires go where. But it'll be alright for faster reference. I'm taking this bank plug wires off. They're all down this side of the coil. And I'm leaving the other plug wires on it and just taking my whole coil and setting it off on the passenger side. So, anyway, I took this 10 millimeter loose in this main engine harness. So it's free and clear. And took these five sixteenths out of the top. Of the intake plenum, the coil bracket mount. Drop these plug wires out of the way. Take a fifteen down. Get that back bolt. These ones are already loose, and I've seen that before. Big old boy holding that bracket. Let's take a pair of needles and we'll get in there, pop it off. Push this clip down and release that off the Delta feedback pressure sensor. I'll probably go ahead and pull that up. Push this clip down just like an injector and release the cam sensor. Shimani. 
It's 9.30 seconds holding this EVR on there. And the fuel line's laying over top of some of that, and then this EVAP line. Be careful, this stuff is plastic brittle. Pop the EVAP line off. You don't break a nipple off the plant, I'm going to have to deal with that. And it's fastened here on this bracket. I could probably just take that bracket off the valve pan cover and get both of them. I'm going to clip the EVAP line. Take a line off the EGR valve. I'm going to disconnect the fuel line at the fuel rail. I recommend putting a shop towel under and around it before pulling it loose so you don't either get fuel in your eyes or all over the engine. Then I'm going to take this hose off the back of the valve cover, the big hose, and unscrew the nipple, a plastic nipple is threaded into the valve cover. So it's got those coolant lines wrapped around it. Got the gas line broke loose and caught up the gas with a rag. I'm pulling this corner valve pan cover bolt out. It's a stud. I can push the gas line underneath this EGR valve tube. When you pull this out of the rail, pull on it in a circular fashion. It takes a little while to get that O-ring to come loose. And you don't want to break this plastic line. It's a little rigid going under this EGR valve tube. But I had to take that fuel line bracket loose on the side of the block. It's got a 5 16ths holding it. It's kind of a pain in the backside to get to it. I used a quarter inch drive ratchet and went down around the back of the air conditioner. The little dipstick tube will run up your arm getting to it. Probably go from underneath and get at it. And get that fuel line back enough to make clearance for the corner of the valve cover. I'm going to stick my finger in that hole I made when I took, unscrewed that vent tube and then left some screws in up here to act like hand holds. Something else, get that back down in there. Supposedly, the chain hasn't been changed on this one. I don't know how it's made it that far. Hmm. I clean that surface up. Stick a new gasket in there. I put a bungee cord on the end of the fuel line to hold it, clear the valve cover. I degreased the bolts and just popped the old seals off. Push a new one on. I put a yellow dot beside all the studs, no dot beside just the bolt head. Old head studs. I've degreased this trough and got any residual chunks out of the valve cover. I'm going to use 
some adhesive sparingly on the outside edges to tack this gasket into place and let it set up while I'm cleaning the head surface off. Like that. Some aftermarket gaskets would look like this. Manifold getting all well soaked. This section of the gasket was stuck to the valve pan cover and hard as a rock. I dried any dampness off anything sticking up. So it didn't get on the seal when I fish it back there. Dried up the top of the cam bearings in that lubrication tube. Watch your fuel line hangs it up here on the corner. I would say have all the bolts in it started at least before you tighten it down. Stick this front one in temporarily front bottom one. Next thing I'm going to do is set the coil pack bracket back down. And watch this wire harness plug in and the coil connector. Wire harness retainer. I'm going to ahead and stuck this side back together and pull the three plug wires off for the passenger side. <laughs> 